Hello, um, I'm Anissa Abbas Higgins and I'm here to welcome you to our virtual book club. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about Winter in Sokcha by Elisa Chua du Zapin, which was first published in Switzerland um, in 2016 and I translated it for Daunt Books Publishing and it came out in English earlier this year. Um, the book is a short, easy to read, captivating novel, which I fell in love with, and I hope you will too, for the same reasons. I fell in love with it because of the way it transported me to a place in a world that I knew very little about, but which I could see so clearly in my head. Because the way the book is written, it's written in very evocative, evocative, rich language. But it's language that's very pared down. There are no extra words in this book. There's nothing that doesn't need to be there. So Elisa's language is, is, is very pure, it's very simple, but it's at the same time it's very rich. I first encountered the book in during a heat wave in France a few years ago, and I picked it up and I read it in an afternoon of course, I loved the fact that it was set in this frozen world. Sokcho is a town on the border in South Korea. It's not far at all from North Korea. In the summer, it's a bustling holiday resort. In the winter, there's nothing to do there. It's freezing cold. The whole town is bound in ice. And there's a feeling of waiting for something to happen. The young woman who narrates the novel works in a rundown hotel, rundown guest house, run by a man known only as Old Park. And there are very few guests there in the winter, there's nothing to do. Um, and one afternoon a man arrives who is unusual because he has come from France and he's on his own and we want what on earth is he doing there. His name's Jan Kerron. We learn that he's come there to, he, he's looking for inspiration for his latest graphic novel. So he's an artist. So the visual imagery is, is, is very much part of the novel because we are reading about this man who's looking at the town, who's looking at the young woman, who's also looking through her eyes to try to better understand this world that he's washed up in. Um, the young woman, um, whose name we never learn, all we know about her well, we know we know quite a few things about her, but one of the th first things we learn about her is that her, her she lives with her mother, um, who works in the fish market, and the presence of fish and octopus and um, um, blowfish fugu um, is very important in the book. So her mother works in the fish market, and she's very she's she's an expert in cooking, the um, potentially highly toxic fish, fugu or blowfish. Her mother works in the fish market, but um, she knows nothing about her father. She only knows that her father was French. And because the fact that her father was French, she has a fascination for the country. She's never been there. She studied it at university. Um, she speaks it a little, but she feels uncomfortable speaking it. So we know that she always speaks to Caron in English. Um, so there is the, the, the book is about the relationship that develops between the young woman and Yann Caron. And there's a real um, sort of building erotic tension between the two. But there's this, this, this gap that, 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 that they are trying to bridge but can't quite bridge. Um, the young woman also, she has a boyfriend, um, a boyfriend who lives, is currently living in Seoul and he's training to be a model and having plastic surgery done on his face and encouraging her to do the same. But she doesn't want to leave because she has a, this close bond with her mother and she doesn't want to abandon her mother. So the, from, the, from the very first chapter, we have an idea of all of the themes in the book. We understand about the, the fact that this is a, a rather out of the way town with nothing to do there. It's very cold. It's there, there are the, 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 the fish, the, the, the smell of the fish, the presence of the fish, the, 
um, the theme of food and the young woman's relationship with food, the whether or not she should have plastic surgery, whether or not she should try to alter the way she looks in order to make herself more acceptable to her mother and her boyfriend, and also her yearning to, to, to connect more with this world that, that, that Yann Caron represents. So in the coming, in, in, the, in the next couple of talks, I will try and focus on particular passages or particular aspects of the novel um, and perhaps respond to some questions that people, that readers might ask um, so that I can, I can help, I can, I hope, help people to um, increase their enjoyment even further of this wonderful novel. Okay, thank you very much.